This video is brought to you by Me Porter, a hyperlocal news desk for your mobile phone. Download it for free right now in the iTunes App Store. Hi there, YouTube. How's it going? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy. And I want to talk about Jailbreak Me and how to fix some of the issues if you've been experiencing them. Now, Jailbreak Me uh, was a really smooth rollout. I used a PDF exploit in iOS 4.3.3, which allowed the iPhone, iPod, and iPad to be jailbroken. Additionally, it was also the first jailbreak publicly for iPad 2. Now, it was really good. Everything was you know pretty decent except for those of you that installed the first night or the day preceding the night in which it was released you may be experiencing some issues and that's because the network was so borked uh, Comex's servers couldn't possibly deal with all the traffic and sometimes you didn't get a complete honest to gosh Cydia install. So I'm going to tell you how to fix some of the issues you've had. Um, if you're wondering if you have issues or not, uh, you probably would have noticed them by now. One of them was that Spotlight was not functional or Spotlight would work partially and when you went to use the search the web function or search Wikipedia, it didn't work. And then there's a lot of you that also noticed uh, simple you know, applications like SB settings, Q Tweeter, you know, some of the basic necessities of jailbreaking were not actually in Cydia. And uh, despite reinstalling sources and all that stuff, you just weren't able to get access to your stuff. It was pretty annoying, but there is a very easy way to fix this without having to restore. So all you have to do is reopen mobile Safari. Once you've opened Safari.app and make sure it is Safari.app, mobile web or atomic web or any third party web browsers will not work. You need to open Safari and navigate to jailbreakme.com. I'm going to refresh here. Wait till the page has fully loaded. Do not try to do the jailbreak before that page is set and ready to go like it is here. It should load pretty fast. You'll then press free and then install. Once again, this is the second time you will have done this. Now it's going to say re-jailbreak. It's going to say, are you sure you want to install the bootstrap packages even though a jailbreak is already installed. It will cause Cydia to, for to forget which packages you have installed. And you're going to say yes, jailbreak. It's now going to go to Cydia and uh, you'll see that there's two Cydias on the screen. Don't freak out. Uh, one overwrites the other one uh, once this is completed and once it is finished jailbreaking. So it is going to re-jailbreak. If you've already installed some stuff, that will disappear. Cydia is going to forget it's installed and it might be a bit of a pain to get that stuff back on. But if you are experiencing the more annoying issues by simply re-jailbreaking, now his network is stable. Now it can handle the load of traffic and you should get a much more successful install. So sorry if it didn't work for you the first time, but doing it a second time should work. And the easy thing is you don't need an install or you don't need to restore. So then you just open Cydia and you'll be set and ready to go. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks. This video is brought to you by Ninja. You don't talk to me that way, fat boy. I kill you right in the head. I am Ninja and I have gung ho energy to think. The only energy shot that pays you money for drinking. Go gung ho dot com slash that snazzy iPhone guy. <laughs>